Willy is a Kemp Ridley turtle, which is one of the most critically endangered of all the turtles. And there's only been two Kemp Ridleys washed up in England that have actually survived and made it back into the wild. She was originally washed up in Devon in 2007 and then she was taken to the Weymouth Sea Life Sanctuary, to their turtle sanctuary, where there was a few more members of specialist staff that could actually deal with her and put her through her rehab. And she's remained at Weymouth Sea Life Centre since she was first washed up until she came back over here. Normally the Kemp's Ridley is found in Mexico and the Caribbean and Willie is only the second Kemp's Ridley ever to be found alive in the UK so she is quite special and it's been quite a feat that Weymouth Sea Life have been able to get her through her rehab. She was in such a poor, poor state that I think a lot of people had that thought in the back of their mind with a lot of care or detention, dedication from the staff and the rest of the team and all the veterinary care team at Weymouth Sea Life then they've managed to get her through and she's doing incredibly well. Then in May 2009, she was flown to North Carolina, to just behind me here, to the Top Sail Rescue Centre for turtles. It's a very good reputation. Lots of turtles from the whole of the east coast of the States are brought down here for their rescue and rehab. Willie was flown from Heathrow to the States, all by compliments of American Airlines, which have been incredibly helpful in getting Willie and everybody over here. And she had an 18-hour trip from start to finish. She was in a turtle crate in the bottom of the plane. When she got to America, she was a little bit dehydrated, but Jean and her team had some vets on standby to give her some fluids when she got here. And since she's been here, I think she's become a bit of a superstar. She was flown over here two months ago now, just to settle herself in, get some food into her, sort out her GPS, as Jean calls it as well, and sort of relocate herself where she is. And she'll be being released this afternoon. She's quadrupled in size since she was rescued and she's doing really, really well. I think they'll be really sorry to see her go. She's become quite an ambassador and they've been joking that she's been over here these past two months to get rid of her English accent. Okay, we're coming. Ready or not? Is it a scale again? Oh, sure, why not for show? Yeah. 17.3. 17.7. <laughs> It probably wasn't paired between the two. It was two. 16. Yeah, it was 16. I can get into the car. Come on, go. Yeah, the door's closed down. I don't want to stretch it on the right. Yeah. Who knows the way and they go right at the
was very, very strong. And she was a lot heavier than I was expecting, really. So I didn't expect to get quite so wet either. Sure. Well, the water's warmer here than the uh, English oh, Channel. Exactly. So. I don't mind saying that into this. It's a lot better than wading out here back home in England. But is there any idea? If it's no, no, definitely not. She was quite healthy in the end and there was no way that we'd keep a perfectly healthy animal. The aim of the game is always, if we can, to rehab the animals and get them back to their natural environment and where they should be. And because she's a Kemp's Ridley, which is very endangered, we need her back out there to hopefully give us some more Kemp Ridley's in sort of years to come, really. So she's incredibly important. It was always important she went back. What does this day mean to you? I imagine it's got to be a great day. I mean, though, you were only spent five weeks with the animal. We, we, but it was a good five weeks. <laughs> I would say that what excited us about Willie was that Willie became the link to our colleagues across the sea. We are no longer divided by that water. We are joined by that water. And because of our common interest in saving the wildlife, saving the ocean critters, saving the planet, uh, we now join hands across the sea because of Willie. And we think that all of Willie's fans and friends in the UK will continue this thought of how important Willie was and the legacy that Willie left.